Hey, have you ever wanted to create your own custom slider? But this is using the loop grid that came out with Elemental 3.8. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to WordPress, Elemental, go to our templates, and we're going to click Add New. Now, we're just going to create one that is a section, give it a reasonable name. I'm going to call it Loop Slider 1. We click Create Template. Now, I'm not bothered about any templates that might pop up over here. We're going to build one from scratch. We are using the Loop Grid, don't forget, okay? You do need to make sure, though, that you have got Flexbox Container and Loop Grid enabled or activated in your Elemental Experiment. Elemental Settings Experiments, if you have not done it. And if anyone is worried about using containers and section and columns on the same website, Go watch my video I released last week, which clearly shows you can get away with it and it's totally fine. Right, over here, we're just going to drop in the loop grid because that's what we're building. Um, I mean, this is a bit of a funny one in a way with what I'm doing um, because you could do this using the post widget, but the reason we're using the loop grid is to have complete individuality over how it looks. Okay, so what we're now going to do is create a template. Ignore the fact that you have three here, a grid of three, okay? We're only going to show one post. Let's go and create a template, hit save, don't worry about that. This is now where we get to start to populate how it's going to look. Now, I'm going to use the call to action widget. I'm going to drop this in here. I'm going to very quickly convert it to be a cover so we have the words over it. I'm also going to get rid of the uh, button text there and the description. And for the heading, I'm going to change that by hitting the dynamic tag. And I'm going to go down and pick post title. So the post title is there. We can't properly see it at the moment. Don't worry about that too much. I'm going to click on the image and I'm going to click the dynamic tag again. By clicking the dynamic tag, that allows you to now start picking elements of your post like the featured image or anything like that. So now I've picked the featured image. So first thing we did was change the title to be the post title by hitting the dynamic tag. And now we've gone and pulled through the image. Now there is more we can do as well. So if I just go over to the content, we have a bit over here where we now have, well, how is this going to link? So what I'm going to do is click the dynamic tag and I'm going to click post URL. Now if you don't pick post URL, it doesn't know where to go. Okay, so make sure you do that. So we now have post URL. It might feel like I'm rushing this, and I don't mean to, but if you've watched the previous videos, this will make total sense. Look, I'll do it again. The button text, I'm not having a button. I'm just going to go to link, and I'm going to pick post URL. And because it says here, apply to the button, well, we don't have a button, so how do we do it? Well, we're going to apply it to the entire box. It doesn't matter where you click, you're going to go to that post no matter where you click. Okay, so now I don't like the wording being up there. So I'm going to go to style. I'm going to move it to the left. I'm going to move it to the bottom. I can, if I want, zero out the padding. And now I can say, okay, on the left-hand side, give me 20. And on the bottom, give me 20 as well. I'm just going to change the title to be an uppercase like that. And I'm going to give it an REM of about 1.2. At the moment, when you hover, the image zooms in. Let's change that to be a uh, move left. So now when I hover over, it moves to the left. And in terms of the wording, well, you know, I could even say slide in. No, not slide in right. Um, move right. There you go. So where you have your image now like that, it kind of does something like that. I mean, of course, you could play around with it, go with what you want, which is why I love the call to action widget. You don't need to use loads of plugins and code if you want to have a zoom in image on your website. It doesn't even have to have words on there. I'm now going to hit a uh, save and back. And this is the key bit. OK, we now have one post. Now, at the moment, though, it's bringing over three other posts. I don't need three other posts, okay? So this is where now you click back on the loop grid. We are still in the template, okay? You click on the loop grid. Over here now it says, well, what do you want to show? I'm just going to have uh, one column and I'm just going to say one item per page, all right? You don't have to set it to four. If you do that, it will affect the way it looks. So just go with one and we're only going to have one item on the page. Now, as far as the query goes, this is showing it in date descending order, I don't need to exclude anything. I'm only showing one post, okay? I'm now going to go back over to my templates and I'm now going to create another one. By the way, don't just hit, I mean, look, you, um, I'm not sure, you can get away with this. If I hit duplicate, okay, um, this now creates it as a page. So just bear that in mind. I don't like the way that always happens. So the best thing to do is just click add new. Okay, pick a new section, give it the relevant title, hit create template. Now here's something that's quite important. 
Over here we have loop slider 1, but can you see here we have elemental loop item 8957. This is actually the new one that was created and I'm going to use that as a template. If I go back over to loop slider 2, rather than building from scratch, I can pick a template. So I could either type in, well, I'm not going to type in 8957 because sometimes that doesn't work. I'm now going to pick 8957 and what happens is I get the format of the call to action. I'm now going to change this also to be 1 and 1, and but we see the same post. I want to offset this because I want to see the second post. So I go to query, I go to exclude. Because look, everything is in the date order, I'm happy with that. I then go to exclude and where we have offset, I'm going to type 1. That now skips the first post. By the way, do, ignore the titles, okay? Because it was in order of how I'd made it. So I think it's sample 3, 2 and 1. Well, I had let's go Burfa, then sample 3, then sample 2, then sample 1. So sample 3 is the second post. Trust me on that. Let me now just hit publish. Okay, now if I go back over to my templates and I just refresh this, loop slider 1 is fine, loop slider 2 is fine as well. So what I'm now going to do is click add new, I'm going to pick a section and I'm basically going to do this for um, two more posts. Drop the loop grid in, pick your template, I mean we can just do 8957, it should work fine, there we go, we pick that, set this to be 1 and 1 and then we go over to query go to exclude and we are now going to say 2. So we skip the very first and the second one, we now publish that. So it doesn't take too long if you have a bit of a methodology and you could do 5, 6, 7, 8 sliders, I'm only going to do 4 here for now. Let's go here, close that down. Um, you will get into a pattern and you might want to make notes of how you approach it. I mean look, I'm just going in like this, you just type it in, pick it, set it to 1 and 1, it's it's not that cumbersome. You're going to spend more time fine tuning how your slides look, your individual call to action if you were going to use that. Right, let's now skip the first three. So sample one, which looks really, really awful there actually right now, the wording doesn't look great. I'm, I'm just going to, I'm not overly worried about the style of it, just want to get across how this works. So we now have the templates for four of those. If we now go back over to our templates, we now have the short codes. I'm going to pick the short code up for slider number one. And instead of putting in a loop grid here, I'm actually going to use a testimonial carousel like this. Okay, I'm going to get rid of everything we have here. Um, I'll come back onto the style of it in a moment. I'm going to get rid of the title, get rid of the name get rid of the content, I'm also going to delete the image, so there's nothing there, and in the content part, I'm going to drop in that short code. I better just double check the short codes, I think they're, no, they're not all the same. That's a bit of a pain, it would have been, I, I always hate it when they're not in proper number uh, ascending order, why does it skip two or three, it never makes sense to me. Right, so we've got item one over there, um, I'm just going to add in uh, another item and we're going to drop, in fact, let's just, it's easier if we just duplicate, 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 go to item 2, uh, drop the code in there. So now we have our four slides in. Excellent. Let me now just go down to the bottom. We're going to leave it as a default skin. Don't care about the alignment, the alignment, sorry, the, the layout because we bring in through the images. We're going to show, uh, we'll show three because we know we got four and it's all, always going to loop. Slides to scroll, we'll just go with one for now. Uh, the width we're going to leave. Now this is the key bit, okay, I'm going to get rid of the arrows and I'm actually going to get rid of the dots as well. If you want to have the arrows and dots, go for it. There's no harm in that, okay? And there you go, you can see the words coming. Excuse the fact that the images aren't the greatest for the images, but look, as you slide over them, and if I was to go and click this one here, by the way, there is no single post template created at the moment, which is why it comes to this really ugly page at the moment, so we ignore all that. This is a test website, but can you see how that worked? You know, you could click it. So if I click sample, oops, sorry, <laughs> click sample two, it's gonna take you over to that one and make sure you got a single post template. But there is something I do want to point out. We've created four templates, okay, um, if we go over to our templates here. 
But what if you suddenly then decide, oh, you know what, I don't like the wording. Oh, I need the wording to be a different color or something like that. You don't have to go back into every individual template here. This was all based over this template here, 8957. So I'm going to edit this one, right? I'm just going to edit that one. So this will now open up template 857. Let's click over here. Let's go to the style, uh, go to the content. And I'll tell you what, let's just change it. Um, so I've got, let's make it be, let's go for, let's just make it be a bright yellow color. Okay, why not? Okay, let's just now hit update. So all I've done is update template 8957. If I go back over here, I haven't touched the other four templates. Look, it's brought it through. So I can go and modify the template and it's gonna come through and look, oh, well, basically it feeds through to all the other ones. Now, at the moment, this scrolls one at a time. What if you want an automated auto scrolling feature? Well, okay, that is pretty simple and easy to do. Let's go back over to our slider and what we're gonna do now is touch the settings. Here's what you need to do. I'm going to change the transition to be three and a half thousand. I have found three and a half thousand works really well. I'm going to change the autoplay speed to actually be zero like that. There's no need for it there. I'm going to leave the autoplay on. I'm going to leave the infinite loop on. Uh, pause on hover, pause on interaction. Well, I think you are going to need that because you want to be able to click and open it, right? But here's the trick. you got to go over to advanced scroll down to custom CSS and drop in this bit of code here. I keep mentioning her name, Zoe Tame. You know, she first introduced me to this code a while ago and I use it a lot. It's great for scrolling logos and things like that. So there we go. And we now hit update. Look at what we got here. Oh my goodness. I mean, yeah, okay, you could say that there was a bit of effort required there. You had to create your loop grid and then you had to create four, five, six, you know, whatever's. But if you decide you're going to have a carousel of the latest six posts, you would create your template. You would then use your offset, you know, one, two, three, four, five. When you get to the sixth one, you're going to offset five so that it shows the sixth, sixth one, okay? And this now works. And if I was to now say, let's hover over this one here, sample one. Look, it took me there, right? I had to make sure I did definitely click, right? And look, and then it just starts scrolling again. So you can have now a complete custom look. And here's the other thing that maybe you're not even considering or thinking about. You could make a totally different look to what you have as well. I used a template for my slides, right? You could have a completely different looking post for one of the options down here. Maybe there is no image. Maybe there's a different background. Maybe there's a button like buy now. You are not limited as to what you can do. And we are not using any other third party plugin except Elementor Pro. Okay. Um, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.